Hi everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be rather short as I want to quickly just share something that I have found yesterday. So it's another new system prompt you would use alongside with custom instructions that is able to make ChatGPT into an AutoGPT. Basically, this system prompt is by Synetic Labs, right, which is an AI company. So it works similar with the previous system prompt that I have shared in my other video on creating your very own AI learning assistant, which you can find the link in the description below if you haven't watched it but basically it's just a system prompt that's able to base off a goal to create a task list for you and it will work its way down the task list automatically right so without further ado let's jump right into this prompt so this prompt is by synaptic ai and basically it created this thing called synapse cor right so if you can see over here here's a prompt breakdown it's getting the chat gpt to act as this professor synapse who is sort of like a conductor of many different expert agents so it will assume a role of this professor and it will try to understand what you're trying to achieve it will start asking you very smart questions in order to derive at the end goal which probably i'll share on a little bit in a while and it will then automatically assign an expert to solve that task right so which is summoning the expert agent over here but more in detail to come right apart from that there are also like different commands over here where you can do a slash start to run this professor synapse or you can save up the whole progress right which kind of help to extend your context limit so it does save it up into a file okay you can also have like slash new to sort of like reset the current session and then to run our second iteration on something else right and there are more to it so how to set this up right if we go to this chat gpt gpt4 you go under custom instructions you will be able to paste in this entire prompt right so it includes all the commands includes the rules and everything else so i will paste this prompt along with the link to synaptic labs um so that you can find out more about them and you can also use this prompt whenever you want right so all you do is just to paste same like our previous system prompt that we have done in my previous video just paste it inside this column over here and save it okay i will not be running any live demo today because i've already run a couple of iterations with this prompt already if you have watched my previous video on 2x your learning speed right you will know that i've been using another system prompt by nick dobos which allows me to customize my directions of where i want the ai to bring me towards in this particular prompt is slightly different right this prompt here it's more straightforward there's there really isn't much of like a you know a moving back and forth left or right or rather it's more linear because it brings you step by step to run through the different tasks however it is more consistent right there are less of uh, problems when i used it so let's maybe just run through one example right of what i've done all right i've run the same experiment as my previous video with the other system prompt which is to get the chat gpt to teach me python all right so over here i got it to kickstart right so what is good about this prompt is that all you need is just to give the ai an end goal right you don't have to be specific so like in my previous video Video on ideal prompt structure i've talked about setting really clear goals and then we reverse engineer from from there right to derive at what context do you need what persona do you need what guidelines should you actually create in order to reach that goal so previously we need to think of every single one of these factors to create the ideal prompt but today with this particular system prompt we no longer have to do that anymore right all i need is just teach me python right just one angle right so it will activate is professor Sinet and it will prompt me to clarify my goal right it will sort of go through that reverse engineer process that i've talked about right it will ask me if i'm a beginner uh, do i seek to learn python from scratch it's trying to get to know me better so that it can create that context for the uh, actual ai to run the task right are there any specific projects and applications in mind that you would like to use to create python are there any particular time frame or deadline you'd like to achieve these milestones so it's pretty interesting because it's now able to give me all these very specific questions so that i can then create or set up the environment for the ai to execute all these tasks right more specifically to me Okay, so I just tell the chat GPT, the AI, that I'm a beginner. So it then prompt me further to get more clarity, right? So it's asking me whether I'm interested to learn Python for a specific field, such as data science, web development, or general programming. So it's digging more information. And uh, it starts asking me, like, do you prefer to learn through interactive coding exercises, videos, reading materials, or combination, right? And how much time do I have dedicated to this? Okay, so I just gave it what I think I want to achieve, which is general programming, specifically in automation, right? And I want a combination of these learning materials. And that is interactive coding exercises, reading materials, videos, anything, right? Anything goes. So it then provide me a summary of everything that I've mentioned. And it started to activate this Synapse CR, which is the expert in whatever that I'm going after. So if you are going after a, a, a content, it will automatically assign a role of a writer for you. If you're going for coding, you know, they probably assign you an expert programmer, right? So right now that's what it is doing exactly, right? It's giving me a Python expert and it's going to use this persona to start teaching me, all right? And I'll just skip through all these, 
right but basically it just gave me a step-by-step -step, which is one to six where it's going to tell me okay let's start off with introduction first and then i guide you through some simple programs and so on uh, but this is just the tip of the iceberg right as we go down further you will know that it is way more intuitive than what it seems right so i just say okay let's carry on and then it started giving me all the very basics like all the basic syntax and so on so it's giving me all these with examples right which is what i really like about this they just give you everything that's important to learn that skill and the best part is it gave me an interactive exercise right it gave me a question and it asked me to work on the question so it asked me to print the name and age using variables so that's exactly what i did right and which it tells me that okay my answer is correct it's successful right let's print them out and it asked me whether i would like to see the output so i just say yes let's just run it and it just prints out the code right based off the print statement over here okay so as i move on the next section here is what really gets very interesting right i got it to proceed to the next stage which is on data structures so it gave me a couple of examples like lists, tuples dictionary sets and so on right but what's very interesting is this interactive exercise it asked me to based on whatever that i've, I've read to create a dictionary right that represents a book with the keys of these four different keys which is the title the author the genre and the year published so i decided to test if the ai is able to pick up mistakes right whether it's able to differentiate like text quotes and things like that so i create a dictionary that represents a book with the title author genre and the year published i just copied this entire thing and I just paste it in and I started adding in the different values for each of the keys, right? And I left the N over here, right? So you can see this N, I just, the A and D, I left it in and I deliberately missed out on the quotes, right? There are actually a single quote to represent each value for the key because since this is a string, you're supposed to have quotes, right? So I just deliberately left it out and I ran that. It's able to pick up all these, right? So that's what's so great about using this type of system prompt. They pick it up and they tell me that, you know, there's an error because the word N and is not needed and also there's a missing value for the title key because since it's not wrapped in single quotes now this title key is empty so hence it corrected my code with quotes over here right and it tells me that i can replace the name of the book so you see how powerful these tools can become especially for learning now i haven't really tested out with other types of examples i just really just recently just found this and i think it's really interesting so i just want to quickly share it with every one of you so this is just the first example i did a couple more iteration i even did one that that is on content writing right so i'm just going to test it out so when i was running this experiment i kind of hit the limit for my gpt4 so i wasn't able to carry on but i got quite a fair bit of information that we can do a very quick test right now i have an existing content which you can actually see over here so the seo score for this content is about 38 out of 100 and you will notice that you know there's still a lot of keywords that is kind of missing right so like all these keywords in red in orange for an seo what we do is we have to naturally insert all these keywords into the copy right and by doing so my score will actually increase right so of course ideally i want to get it up to top which is 80 83 over here and average 68 i generated this content from chat gpt4 right and the word count is rather short it's about 700 words and the score is just 38 so i need to naturally incorporate all these keywords i need to embed all these keywords into my copy i can lengthen it i can get the ai to rewrite it right so i'm gonna, just going to use professor synapse and i'm going to try it out so which is what i did right i zip up the files together which it has an excel sheet of all my lsi keywords the ones that you see over here these are the lsi keywords the contextual keywords right along with the frequency like how many times it should be in the content right and i have added them into the excel sheet along with the article itself so i zipped it up right and i gave it a prompt to sort of like revise or lengthen this content right with these lsi keywords they just read the zip file so they they sort of recognize what these two files are so it activated is synapse crr and it took up the role of a content optimization and seo expert is going to come up with a list of task items right and it's just going to run through each of that task right so it just proceed it got into my lsi keywords file so it tells me the occurrence and it's going into analyzing the article to see where it can insert the keywords right so um, I just get it to continue so we can actually skip all, through all this part because um, sometimes it can be a bit long-winded, right? Okay, so the cool thing about this is it prints out the um, original content and after it revise, it prints out the other revised content as well. So this way I'm able to see, right? And we went on. So this is the original and this is the revised version with the LSI keyword. All right. And I ended it off here because I've hit my cap for my GPT-4. Hence, uh, I couldn't continue anymore. But with these uh, small little changes, let's see if it really works, right? So the first introduction was revised as well. Let me just swap this out, right? With the revised version, okay? As you can see, the score, it just went up by 10, right? So it's pretty good. So let's carry on, right? Okay, this portion, not so much. 
Okay, this portion not too much as well. Okay, and then we have these various candlestick patterns, right? And I have it until bearish. So I just change up this couple of sentences over here. Okay, and you can see it's going up to 53 now, right? So just with these few tweaks, right? I haven't re really went through the entire content, right? But I'm already at 53, which is one step closer to the average of 68. I have also increased my work count to 915. And you will notice here earlier on, there's absolutely totally no green, right? Everything's orange, right? But this just shows that the AI is doing exactly what it's being set out to do, which is to insert keywords naturally into the content. And if you read this content, it's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best, but you know, more fine tuning will definitely be encouraged. But of course, Cost more time it will be required to spend into doing this so this just means that with this problem technically you do not need a copywriter or a content writer or an editor anymore you even if you're not a writer yourself you could optimize your own copy with just this prompt all right it just works amazingly right i don't know you might even be able to do proofreading proofing your content for your company for your freelance job you know whatever it is i'll just say that this prompt is absolutely wonderful of course, if this video benefited you, do give me a thumbs up as it will help the YouTube algorithms. So do smash that like button for me. Okay, so that's all for today. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And once again, stay tuned for my next videos and stay safe.